Jedi Master Yoda absolutely got his booty cheeks clapped by Emperor Palpatine. But why did that happen? Master Yoda was one of the most powerful Jedi to ever live, becoming one of about 10 Grand Masters in Jedi history. And if you want to only do canon, there's only been two confirmed Grand Masters. So what exactly does it take to be a Grand Master and why is this such a great accomplishment? While the process to become a Grand Master isn't exactly agreed upon throughout the fandom, there are some steps that need to be accomplished in order to do that. One of them is training multiple Jedi Padawans to the rank of Master, having them pass all of their trials, typically back to back to back to back. Grand Master is also a position that is voted upon by the council members. And to become a Grand Master, it has to be unanimous. Not a single person can vote against you. A lot of people do say that that position is typically reserved for the oldest and wisest Jedi, but that's not always the case. Not only did Yoda accomplish all of these things, he was also one of the most powerful Jedi ever. This is kind of hinted at in The Phantom Menace whenever they find Anakin and they talk about midichlorians, which is back when midichlorians were going to be a real thing. Over 20,000. Even Master Yoda doesn't have a midichlorian count that high. No Jedi has. This just shows how powerful Yoda is and how the Jedi viewed him. Now just imagine how shocked they were when he lost. A lot of people will say, oh well, Emperor Palpatine was also very powerful. Yes, this is true. Some people also tend to look over the fact that Emperor Palpatine kept his distance during his fight with Yoda. He very quickly realized how outmatched he really was when he was fighting him up close. A fight up close with Grandmaster Yoda is very difficult. It's like having a lightsaber duel with a fly. He's so agile and quick, it's very hard to predict his next move. Not only is Yoda very fast and agile, he's very powerful in the force and Palpatine does not want to mess with that. I mean, Yoda caught his lightning in his palm and shot it back at him. Those reasons are why Palpatine took the fight to the Senate chamber where he could keep his distance and just hurl very large objects at Yoda. As powerful and revered as Yoda was, you still have limitations. Yoda was very old and he was very small. So the very large objects being thrown at him that are 10 times his size, yeah, he's gonna have a little bit of trouble with that. Palpatine being much younger than him gives him better endurance. That's just a fact of life. You pair the endurance of a younger Emperor Palpatine against a very much older and smaller Grandmaster Yoda, plus him throwing very large objects 10 to 15 times larger than Yoda actually is, Yoda's gonna get wore down and his endurance just won't be able to keep up. Yoda becoming more tired is basically what led to him falling. Now, could Yoda actually continue to fight after that? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think he definitely could have. But by the time he would have recovered from the fall and got back up there to Palpatine, it would have been way too late and reinforcements would have arrived. That's just too many people for one person to handle. Partly because of that and the fact that Yoda knew there was another hope in the galaxy somewhere, he could just feel it, he fled. I think if this fight would have taken place on very even ground, like in his office the entire time, Palpatine would have been dead for sure. And the entire course of Star Wars would have been changed. If you want to see a what if video on that, make sure you let me know. If Palpatine died, that death probably would have been as impactful as the death of Qui-Gon Jinn. If you want to know what would have happened if Qui-Gon Jinn did not die, well, just go watch this video. You know, there's something about the Senate fight between Palpatine and Yoda that I've always wondered. Were there no cameras in there? Did nobody else have access to cameras in the Senate chamber? You figured there would be plenty of cameras that just watches Emperor Palpatine hurl things at Yoda that are just absolutely massive and nobody questioned it. I don't know. He probably just wiped the cameras, but still very, very weird that nobody else had access to that. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Let me know in the comments what you think would have happened if they fought on even ground because I think Yoda would have won. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to bring a lot more Star Wars content in the future. I appreciate you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. May the force be with you.